Yes, thank you, phone and iPad, for telling me that the Amalekusa was now live. Look at that! We got all kinds of people in the chat already. We got Lena, who was once, who was on Twitter for once, for the tweet. Chris is here. Brett is here. How you doing, everybody? <clears throat> it's snowing. Oh my gosh! It's snowing? Unbelievable! Yeah. It's it's like sixties here. It's really nice. Unless you're allergic it's to pollen. 14 here, which is 57. That's nice. It's mm. pretty nice. <laughs> Chris says, good, just thinking about the time I yeeted my cat into a kiddie pool when I was five. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. <clears throat> we've got um we've got another uh, boyo here with us today I think buried somewhere in the depths of the uh, starting soon void it's in the 70s where Lena's at hey Cinder what's up Cinder hi, hi Cinder oh and Cinder's here hi John's also here look at that Holy we haven't shit, even started yeah. yet we got a we got a Good, oh no. good crew. Whole cast. Whole cast of people. <laughs> Chris says that's the day I found out both that cats don't like being thrown and water. <laughs> <laughs> a good lesson to learn. <clears throat> we've got almost Indeed. we've got almost almost enough people for eight player smash. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. It's not what we're doing today, unfortunately. No. Man. Dissembled and painted my Alpha Smart and turn thanks, Brad. in turn fix the broken one, but I'm waiting for the new keyboard to finish the painted one. Cool. 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 I I can't remember. I know you told me what an Alpha Smart is, and I can't remember exactly what it what it does. It's like the electronic typewriter thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. See, because it needs the thing. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I just realized that I didn't send you pictures of my cookies. 
Oh, made cookies. cookies. Cory made thickies again. I did make cookies. Oh boy, <laughs> dummy thickies. I, I guess, I guess I can put them. The LCD is heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Liquid crystal display. I gotta say, <clears throat> when I first found out what LCD stood for, I thought it was like way cooler than just like TV screens, right? Because <laughs> to me, like liquid crystal sounds like a sequel to the second generation of Pokemon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> which, yep. which when I found out uh, what LCD stands for, wasn't already a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> I put them in medium. Alright, cool. Oh. oh. They're cute. Thank you. Can you guess what the first one is? K M G S M K? Mm hmm. Plus the colors. Um. Um, I have no idea. So, they are my top ships for each Dragon Ball game. Great, of course they are. Of course they are. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Kyutaku and Wando. Yep. Wando and Sonya. Mm -hmm. and Kaito. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. Very cute cookies. Mm -hmm. They look delicious, you. and you, you make really good cookies anyway. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, they are so really good, and I'm gonna go get them all. Good. <laughs> well, let's get this show on the road. We got uh, we got some Ace Attorney to play today. Hell yeah. Well, okay. Actually, I do have a story to tell y'all before I actually start. Okay. It's a very important story. <clears throat> Man and girl go out to drive on oh, no. under moonlight. They stop at on at a side of road. He turned to his girl and say, Baby, I love you very much. What is it, honey? Our car is broken down. Ooh. I think the engine is broken. I'll walk and get some more fuel. Okay, I'll stay here and look after our stereo. There have been news report of stereos being stolen. Good idea. Keep the doors locked no matter what. I love you, sweaty. So the guy left to get full for the car. After two hours, the girl says, Where is my baby? He was supposed to be back by now. Then the girl hear a scratching sound and voice say, Let me in. The girl doesn't do it. And then after a while, she goes to sleep. The next morning, she wakes up and finds her boyfriend still not there. She gets out to check and man door hand hook car door. <laughs> Yep. Man door, hand hook, car door. I... <laughs> oh, hi, Raiders! Also, hi, everybody! <laughs> Holy squish! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> how are you guys doing? Hey, how do we do the shout-out thing? I know you're supposed to do that. I have no idea how to do that. Sean. What? Do you know it's how to do that? Thing. It's a bot thing? No, Darn it. It's okay. a bot thing. We need to have a bot. Well, heck, all right, then everybody who's here... Uh, no big deal, I met you off a of raid returning the fable. Well, thank you, dude. That's freaking awesome. All right, hello, everybody. We're gonna play some Ace Attorney today. Um, Woo! Hell yeah! Um, and to, to all the people who regularly sit here and watch, check out Dwight Main, or Dwigged. I'm not sure if the spelling um, alters the pronunciation there, but uh, freaking cool. <clears throat> um, it's uh, really neat to be starting with a big old batch of people. Um, and uh, uh, despite the man hook, court, card, hand door, hard, hard, hard Hard door. Hard, hardcore. Hardcore. Um, we should. Where's hardcore, your lawyer suit? Hardcore. Oh heck, I gotta put on a lawyer suit. <laughs> this stupid thing that's way too hot and doesn't fit me. And boy, okay. It is Dwight. It is Dwight. All right, neat. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm wearing, uh, as you can see, uh, blue shorts and a. Um, Nice, uh, nice, nice, whatever this is here. Okay, hello, everybody. We're gonna play some Ace Attorney. Um, <laughs> I, it's been a long time. 
Liam, just get a cardboard cutout and tape it to your front. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Hope to see you around, homie. You raided me whilst I was playing Pokemans. I love the getup for sure. Well, thanks. No, for real, this is awesome. Um, <clears throat> uh, we're not doing Pokemon today, actually. We've been doing Pokemon for a couple of weeks, um, and I will probably be playing more Pokemon tomorrow. But this is the first freaking time we've actually had Corey in weeks. Corey. Because you finished her degree, and now we have a uh, we have we have uh, some time to spend with her. So let's get going. Let's get going. What the heck? What are we doing? Woo! Yeah, um... Um... Uh, th this one. Yes. Um, uh, mm. you worked for Mia, and... and... Oh, <laughs> yeah, th that's right, yeah. it's Ooh Girl. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, we get to- we get to start with her! Yeah, it's great. Oh my god! <clears throat> this is great, the first voice I get to do in, like, Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Is it a voice? It's true. All right, Dwight says, honestly, I'm pretty tired, but I'm gonna check on you and your streams. Ooh, degree. Graduated in December with my graphic design degree. Congrats, man. That's freaking awesome. Thanks for oh, showing yeah. up and hanging out. I totally get it. Whenever I finish a stream and raid, I'm just kind of like, boy, I want to hang out, but also <gasps> enjoy your night. <laughs> Have a great time. Yeah. <clears throat> He's home. <laughs> Chris is screaming. Chris is yelling. All right. <clears throat> All right. So for the new people who are chilling, uh, we do voices here. Yep. So, uh... Go ahead, oh, Corey. we don't have a bot or anything. No, no bot, unfortunately. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Not yet. <clears throat> I'm here for the voices? Neat. Okay, good. Good. Fuck yeah. I guess I did! <laughs> scary. Oh god, he's smart. Miss <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> <laughs> May, let me ask. <laughs> Tell me, how did you know that the weapon was a clock? We're we're in oh Jesus. We're in we're in toad territory already. It's fine. Oh dear. Mm, does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because? Okay. So, okay, so... This is the problem with not playing this game for a couple of weeks and then jumping back right into the like three quarters of the way through a trial. I have no idea what's going on. Cause we saw, we saw Mr. Sparklemeister kill, what's her name, right? Yes. So we know who So the we is. as we players know who it is. How to get there. Right. Yes. So she probably hasn't held it then, right? It was, it was Sparkle Man. Correct. But like, we don't, but like, Phoenix doesn't know that. No. So what makes more sense? Cause like... We're, we're not playing this game to roleplay as Phoenix, Liam. No, I know, but like, okay, so it's more likely that she heard about it then, since she didn't actually smack a, uh, uh, Mia with it. <laughs> Mia? Yeah. Yeah. Mia. Okay, all right, cool, I got that right. You'd heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. <clears throat> she heard? That thing thunks from a mile away. That is correct, your honor. There is no other way she could have known the thunker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Oh, well. This is interesting. <laughs> Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving the witness heard the murder weapon was a clock. 
Okay, so we have a couple of things here. Oh, we have a wiretap, don't we? Mm-hmm. We went out of our way to, like, sneak that out of the room. Yep. Okay. That's probably what it is. We have the floor plans, we have the receipt with a wiretap, we have the thunker, we have the glass shards, we have Maya's cell phone, Mia's autopsy report, and our uh, our little unraspberried cookie here. Um, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it would be anything else. I think it's probably the wiretap. Take that! Take that! Have a look at this! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room! <laughs> Liar face! <laughs> Mr. Wright! Please explain to the core what this is! This is a wiretap! I found it in Miss May's room! Miss April May! You were tapping the victim! Miss Mia Fay's phone, were you not? You well, uh, this is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure uh, that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim the witness was tapping her phone? I mean, you know, most people tap their phones nowadays, but I guess this happens in 2000. I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Absolutely! Phone. Even if that was the case, which <laughs> does not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What? Here's my proof! The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is, and this is where we have to show Maya's cell phone, right? My badge! <laughs> you see, I am a attorney. Look at this badge. <laughs> um, it's the it's the cell phone, right? Because like, um, Maya and Mia had that conversation about how the thing is a clock. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, not view. Hold on. I need you to e present. Take that! I present the defendant's cell phone. <laughs> yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Do we want to voice it again? Yeah, it's sure. We haven't we haven't in a while. It's been a while. Okay. Yeah, I know I get to be the sisters. <laughs> Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. On to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thunker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I. <laughs> Cinder says, hey, don't dismay. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're right. <laughs> Your Honor, this is ridiculous. 
Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Let's answer the question. Did you hear her? Her phone? Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Huh? Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right. You! You lawyer! Yeah. It, it's not fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. <laughs> oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Maya, hand me the baseball bat. <laughs> Here you go, Nick. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, thank you, Ben. So, you did it, didn't you, is just like a, eh? Eh? But why the wiretap beats information? It's like, you know, actually leads into something. Let's, let's, let's pick that. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't to be tapping this irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. You were tapping the victim's phone. I could hardly call that irrelevant. <laughs> While the court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. My tone of voice is absolutely appropriate. This is an Ace Attorney <laughs> game. <laughs> well, Miss May. Do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder? Even though you tapped your phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil queen. <laughs> you were probably thinking... I'd like to see her pull that off, wouldn't you? <clears throat> what tone of voice is appropriate for the murder of my friend? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can. And will. <laughs> Justin says, Nani? You can't be <laughs> serious. No way. Way, I say, way! Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay. Oh, the chat's all so, ooze. <laughs> so the killing happened around 9 o'clock at night? Why, that's just when I was getting room service for that from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, ice coffee? <laughs> the 
think I'm making this up? Ask the bell boy. <laughs> Ava, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. <laughs> Did her boobs just hiccup? <laughs> <laughs> so, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you. That the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. You saw the defendant, defendant Maya Faye, commit the murder. No. They're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. <laughs> Fred says everyone's voice acting is giving me life. And Lena says, but the wiretap was the question? Does, uh, well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness and continue examining Miss May. I think, I think we got to get that bellboy in here. I think, I think May is close to breaking. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. But what else do we have, like, um, to like throw at her? The badge. <laughs> Perfect. Good. But you really see, smart. you see, Miss May, I am a lawyer. You can tell because I have a badge. <clears throat> <laughs> um. All right. So there's the autopsy report. We know what 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 the time it was. We have the cell phone, which we presented like twice already. We have the glass shards. We have the thunker, we have the wiretap, we have the receipt, and we have the floor plans. I don't think there's anything else we can really throw at at her anymore, right? Unless there's like just like more um, more questioning we can do, you know? Or what do you think? I honestly can't remember. I'm gonna call um, a bellboy. Okay. Oh. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Bellboy. Approach, bellboy. We'll hear what you have to say about this. And then we finish eating. <clears throat> <laughs> She's just eating like a like a like a McChicken. <laughs> Quite well Objection! Oh, this is Edgeworth. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I I will restrain myself. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? She's drinking an iced coffee. Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <laughs> no, an ace coffee! Ugh. Reaction sound! Oh. However... If you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? I condition every day, Edgeworth. <laughs> if Miss April May's alibi is not causing the question after you examine the bellboy. Then you will recognize that Miss May was not the killer. 
uh, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. <laughs> Justin says, pretty sure they don't need a prosecutor's cons consent to question someone. <laughs> and Cinder says it's all about the mind games. Hmm. That is my condition. That's a very strange condition, Edgeworth. I use Pantene. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. <laughs> Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? We can accept the condition or give up. So, okay. Now let's actually think about this. Because I do think that the wiretapping... Like, that happened. We know that happened because we, we have the wiretap, right? And we know yeah. the <laughs> phone was messed with. So that's relevant somehow at some point, but we don't know why or like, you know, I also, I also think like Edgeworth does make a point where it's like, it's, it's relevant somewhere, but not to the murder. They were doing more than one nefarious thing that evening. So do we think the bellboy, do we think the bellboy knows anything? Cause like she probably, like she probably did like order an iced coffee and we know that she didn't kill Mia. So like, do we want to like push and be like, get the bellboy in here, even though he's not really going to like disprove anything. Well, it's either that or literally give up, which ends the trial, so... Oh. I thought give up meant go back to the, like, question for, question her further. So, okay, then never mind then. Okay. All right, well, all right. All right! I've got nothing to lose except for uh, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Condition to get, hmm, replaced with bleh. Bleh. Ooh, you for raising my trap. Uh-oh. Um, wait. Magic cylinder. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Who voiced this guy again? I don't remember even what he looks like. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. <laughs> he certainly just looks like a bad boy. What voice do we do for this guy? He was in like one scene. And it's been weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I um, I think you did it, Liam, but I don't remember what you did. I don't remember what I did either. Do you want to take him? Uh, Corey, why don't you take him? Because it's Sean's Edgeworth and I'm Phoenix. Make him sound like a <laughs> bell. <laughs> you don't know how to do that. Sure. Well, uh, for example, <laughs> yes, sir is ding, ding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ding, ding, oh, no. ding, 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 ding. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> crazy oh, I really have to wear this uniform to court. No, but they dragged him out here. He didn't even have, have time to put his tray down. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. What I tell you? I'm happy to be of service. <laughs> yeah, that guy's got like six lawyer badges. <laughs> <laughs> that tea like set looks rather heavy. So without further ado. The witness 
him to get his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Brent says he's defeating all the lawyer gyms to take on the Prosecutor 4 and be a lawyer master. <laughs> <laughs> she asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot so. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Look, I'm staring at her chest. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see! The defense will begin its cross-examination. <laughs> right! I'm ready for the cross-examination, I hope. <laughs> this is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. <clears throat> okay. So, we have to go through his, um his things and then um we can either press a statement or we can throw some evidence at him mm -hmm. received and, a call um, after so since it's been a while i will um remind you that unless it has been specified pressing a statement does not like make you have fail. negative consequences okay um, so unless it's like, you gotta be careful with what you're saying, or, right. um, if it gives you the option, like, press further or, like, let it go. Right. Sometimes pressing further will result in a penalty. But it will, like, make sure you know. Okay. Yeah. So I have an iced coffee to be brought at nine on the dot. I brought it here precisely the rest of the time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. So that being said, sometimes it is recommended to just press everything and then see. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think this is relevant. He's the held bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest. All right, let's try this one. Hold it. Press his beans. All right. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, so. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, so. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them. And I... Yes, that's right. She does have six Rottweilers staying with her. Doesn't she? <laughs> uh, uh, this has not yet been relevant to the case. <laughs> yes, yeah, she sure does have them big puppies. <laughs> oh, <my> God! <laughs> Corey! <laughs> Chris says, oof. <laughs> yes, what then? Okay, 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 okay. Nine o'clock on the dot. Which one did we press? Uh, receiving a call at eight. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's try this one. 
Hold it! Nine o'clock on the dot, you say? Oh. Thanks, love. We're gonna drink yes, some water. I confirmed that detail several times. <clears throat> she was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. Oh, oh, bread, no. Br <laughs> I'll drink some water, but not too much. <laughs> I haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the, the signal. <laughs> Precisely nine, then. Exactly, and most definitely, sir. Nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. <clears throat> oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. <clears throat> all right, all right. Chris has sent me six, <laughs> seven, Chris. seven posture checks. I'm doing all right, buddy. I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gotta check it again. All right. Okay. You keep skipping. Oh, sorry. I thought you read that one. No. <clears throat> I think I remember vaguely what it says, mm -hmm. or something of the sort. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Gee, well, let's go for it. <clears throat> You're sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir... She... The guest, sir, favored me with an embracer, sir. An embarrasser? Did she tap your phone as well? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. <laughs> I didn't ask! Why would she have done that? I believe she, perhaps, she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. <laughs> it was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. The judge is just like, This is indecent! It's time to stop this conversation! <laughs> Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing here. Is is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. The bad boy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now. If you have any decency, we'll end this rather genius cross-examination here. Hmm. <laughs> 
was a bit tedious. Hmm. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Uh, protest, I suppose. Wait! Please wait! Yes, did the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. <laughs> Lena says, I paid him 20 bucks to be on our side. And Chris says, you should have paid him more. <laughs> Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice is going on long enough. Wait! I need to know the bellboy's favorite color! <laughs> now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in, room service, and bed making. Um. Hmm. It's probably room service? Well. How could... Because room service is the thing that's like ostensibly, you know, relevant here. Right? Because... That's like, her alibi is like, oh, I ordered room service and that's how, like, we know I was there. So that's the easy answer. What could the other ones have that, like, might be trying to trick us? So check in. I guess all that really matters for is that he, like, recognized her because he checked her in. Bed making. I can't imagine how that would matter. So I guess we just ask about room service then? I really can't think of how the other things would be important. <clears throat> Tell me again about uh, room service. Again, uh, sir. At exactly nine o'clock, I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. The guest had requested iced coffee. $18 was the charge, as I recall. That's a really expensive coffee. Oh my gosh. I see. Eighteen dollars? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? <gasps> oh. Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. And we don't skimp on the ice, sir. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. What did he say? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, oh, uh, rather quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> Brent says she's still <laughs> missing that coffee. <laughs> She's just double shotgunning the coffee. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness, the, that witness will, not, uh, will answer the question. <laughs> Had to power the oo woo engine. <laughs> Takes a lot of caffeine, <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, yes, I 
I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you were. You didn't ask. Nice try! That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention! Instead of two chili guns, a Oh my gosh! Thanks, <laughs> Ben. Uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who. Hmm. He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Ooh. everyone you fool <laughs> I've done it I've won oh, wow, wow. Miss April <laughs> Miss April <laughs> oh my gosh you guys you guys are killing me <laughs> <laughs> April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? <coughs> this one's for you, Chris. Ella? Great. Oh, we should have a redeem command. Makes it Corey say ooh again. <laughs> <laughs> it's only gonna be a hundred, because I'll do it for free. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service. You didn't see that man in the room. That's right. Sir. The woman. <laughs> Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible for the judge to the. I mean, it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And you, Mr. Wright. Who is this other person? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Simple. It was... The bellboy... The man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. It was my badge! Oof. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the matter. The. that. the. B -b 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 that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? Edge boy. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. Upstarch amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough.
The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. <laughs> Am I understood? <laughs> I love the chat. They're all just like ludicrous. <laughs> and Joe Wolf. Gosh, you guys. Joe Wolf and Joe Wolf. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. <clears throat> this is, uh, this, that is all today for the trial of my effect. Court is adjourned. September 7th, 224 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Hiya, Maya! <laughs> Mr. Wright! <laughs> you were amazing in there! <laughs> Today I got to eat all the Twix bars <laughs> inside, the, inside the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> there was three in there, and I got to eat two of them. <laughs> Really? Chris says, if I had a death note, I know I'd be writing about now. <laughs> I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sends shivers up my spine. Do you think he was possessed? Oh, well, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Back to the slammer with you. <laughs> Do I get to go home now? Um, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But Exterminate. I gotta... Uh, Maya, no! <laughs> but I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the, de de the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. <laughs> Justin says, if Maya says she gets it, assume that she does not get it. Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right. She was caught and struck. Okay. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. Suzuku. 
He said, it's time for me to hit the pavement. And I was imagining in my head that he was going to say, it's time for me to hit the hay. Because I, I don't know. I just think of it as being late. I feel like a lot has happened today. <laughs> <laughs> so my image of him was him, you know, collapsing onto a bed. And then the word pavement came up. So now I'm just seeing Phoenix just <laughs> eating it on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> find some dust. Mm. Hit, hit the pavement. Time for Cinder to vamoose. Have fun, guys. All right, have a good night, Cinder. I know it's probably super late. Night, Cinder. Yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia. Yeah, <clears throat> everything is literal. Drink water. More water to drink. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Good. Oh, we already saved. Okay. I will also take some. Slurp. September 7th, 3 11 p.m. Detention Center. Visitor's room. Oh, I guess it's only like three. Oh, more water. Okay. Thank you, Lena. I'm almost out. Okay, next water redemption, I gotta go fill up my bottle. Mm. Oh, great. Here we go. Well, hello! <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Fine, I'll go fill up my water bottle. <laughs> Hang in there just a sec, everybody. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> this lawyer isn't wearing any pants. Yeah. Very cute. Okay. <laughs> Sean, you also have to take a drink. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay. The lawyer isn't wearing any pants. Hey, shorts or pants? <laughs> These social distancing court sessions are getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brett highlights the message. This lawyer isn't wearing any pants! Oh my gosh. All right. Hmm. Delicious, water, refreshing, wonderful. It's got minerals, it's got hydration. I don't need any more, we're good. Your honor, where are my pants? Fred, no, stop it. I've had enough water. <laughs> okay, all right, <clears throat> we're good. Corey, did you read Pinky's line? It's really quite moving. <laughs> Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, a laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. I couldn't care less about that. There's something I need from you. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Never has my self-esteem taken a blow as grave as this. 
<clears throat> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there in the corner like... <sighs> So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Can we present the thunker and hit her with it? <laughs> 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 Need a timer on water before we kill Liam via overhydration. Yeah, I'm gonna drown on stream. I do have to put a timer on that. I didn't do that yesterday and that was a mistake. Okay. I don't think there's anything really that we can uh, present. So let's just talk to her. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. My name is Phoenix. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, <clears throat> when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. I have to press the button for the line to progress. Good job. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Hmm. <laughs> Weep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Oh, but Justin says, let me just remind you, Liam, bread streams on Saturday. Let her have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... Boy, we have D&D &D on Saturday, but I could, if it's later in the day, then I could probably be there. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just <laughs> against me? I take it back. You look like a bad person. <laughs> okay. Um. No, go back. Okay, so do we have to move then? There's got to be other places we can go. Maybe we can learn more about the guy at the Gatewater Hotel. <clears throat> so the seven Gatewater Hotel, room three hundred three. Oh, it's the bell bar. Hello, sir. Uh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. <clears throat> no, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters. Rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Reptar? Reptar's getting naggy. Oh my gosh. Yes, our reputation will be swell as the hotel where... Where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Are you sure? <clears throat> this this is a little shady to me. Whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. <clears throat> <clears throat> I too will become famous. <laughs> the bellboy who brought the murderer ice coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream?
<clears throat> so, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Can, can I have a couple of those lawyer badges that you got there in the tray? <laughs> About Miss May. Chris says, Bellboy has problems. They didn't have cameras in 2009. <laughs> nah, murder hadn't been invented at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh her sir not to boast but I knew the moment I saw her she'll do it I said do what I'm starting to think <laughs> the most suspicious person here is this guy I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. She was my <laughs> best friend, bellboy! Read the room! <laughs> from the moment I saw him, so... <laughs> he and I are of the same ilk. We both carry a scent of... danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy! <laughs> photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Oh boy, is a chaotic bisexual. <laughs> Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? <laughs> the Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Points for alliteration! Well, what do you think? Chris is just like, Bellboy! Um, that sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> Gatewater. Subtle. Oh my gosh! I get it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, I did not, I did not think of that. Wait, <clears throat> what? The, um... Um, the hotel is called the Gatewater, like, like Watergate. Uh-huh. Do you know, do you know what the Watergate scandal was? I don't remember. It involved oh, phone Nixon, tapping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it involved, oh! it involved phone tapping, so it was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, um... <laughs> I'm sorry for not knowing American fine. history. I am Canadian. It's fine. I, I couldn't tell you a single thing about any Canadian event that has ever occurred. So don't worry about it. Um, is there anything else? <laughs> Probably not really. Well, let's go to, um, Fay and Co., I guess. September 7th, Fay and Co., Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think there's, there's anything. We looked at everything, right? Mm -hmm. It's 
back to the gym. Guess I'll have to water it now. Poor Charlie. Don't be so mean. Let's say. <clears throat> I'll share that you for your phone. The file's missing. Hmm. We have been so inspected. The files are missing. That's curious. Okay. There's no gum on his shoes. <clears throat> <laughs> Looks like Grossberg is out today. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Ooh, 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 Okay, there's things to see here, there's things to see here. First of all, that big old painting's missing. Wait a second, wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the wall? It was a painting of... I don't remember. Was it? I, I remember it being like a like a landscape. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. Sunflowers. There is not things to see here. I can't blame you for forgetting. I mean, like, they made a point of pointing it out. It's just been so long since we played the game. It has been a while. Uh, I thought it was a cowboy. Yeah. It was something, like, western-ish. Um, was it Marvin, then, if there was a cowboy in there? No. No? I don't think it was fishermen. Was it sunflowers? Oh, well, it must have been him then. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that looks like a dog, and he doesn't look like he doesn't look like a fisherman. So, or yeah, he doesn't look like a fisherman. So I'm gonna say it was him. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Okay, so we we that's fine. Oh. Uh. Oh, so I guess it didn't matter. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Funny. Because yeah, it was. It was a. It was a painting of a guy sitting by a tree with like a straw hat, and his hand was out like petting a dog. Yeah. Now let's talk let's let's talk about the thing that I really thought. What's this? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident exhibit A, DL6 incident <laughs> exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Oh, the DL6. Ooh, the DL6. I don't know I don't know what that means. Mm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one photo, and it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Phoenix, right. Who could that be? A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Oh. Okay. No one will miss the last photo of their wife. Yikes. That man is a Jojo. DL6 is the future of DLC. Okay, well now oh. now we have like um Now we have like all the things. More plans. As far as I can tell that lady wasn't really important. Okay. Can we, maybe we can show the picture to the bellboy and be like, hey, is this a dude? <laughs> Take a look at this photo. We unlocked. Interesting music. The plot thickens. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. 
<laughs> I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. I- no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? What is affidavit? I've never seen that word before. Hey, where are the detectives anyway? <clears throat> uh, I think they are taking the day off. Um, sure, let's have him write it. Because, like, we've already established him in the court as, like, a credible person. Mm -hmm. Can't hurt. Well, sure. Why not? Yes. I'm a dumb English talker, and I've heard that word. Yeah, so have I. Then again, I also had to take a law class, so... What is it? Um, it's... It's like a written testimony? Yeah. Okay. That's the simplest way of putting it. That's it's what I'm getting from testimony. context clues, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> an official statement, Yeah, an basically. official statement. Okay, okay. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. <laughs> it's an affid named Dave. Well, all right. That From makes things a lot easier to understand. <laughs> <laughs> From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it! Bellboy's affidavit or end court record. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Oh boy, we have like a whole next another page now. Okay, all right, okay. All right, does he say anything else? No, okay. Um, then let's go back to the detention center and rub it in her face. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? No. Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. So it's my fault now. Fred says, this bellboy is so intent on being known for something, yet they never gave him a name. <laughs> you don't have, you don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. What on earth does that mean? That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Have you anything to say about this man? Have a look at this. Look at this photo. <laughs> look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. <gasps> Where did you? I love the juxtaposition. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like. <laughs> Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him! This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder! No! No, that's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative! <laughs> yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. E. Could you have a look at this? Does the hotel not have cameras? No, nah, it's 2009. Cameras weren't a thing, and neither was murder. What's? Oh, uh, what's this? Oh my gosh! The Pell Boys affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. <laughs> Have a damn it. Ab Abracadabra. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. 
Okay, so we can ease her fears or push her hard. And I think I think we want to just push her as hard as we can so that the chair goes backwards and she hits the floor. Okay. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Bonk. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh. I not talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you pumping your fist in the air? I am from New Jersey. Now, tell me about the man you were, you were with. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Red, white, information gathering. <laughs> Lena says, but he's purple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you can call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. No, his his middle name is Green. I don't know if you're I'm... I don't know if you're for real or not. <laughs> I'm scared to talk. I I don't want to end up like her. Mm. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last! Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May, if April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be re uh, evidence, but that's fine if it isn't. Well, let's go over to Blue Corp. Oh, it's a glitch land. Wait a minute. <laughs> this sure is a fancy office. What's with the surreal decor? Oh boy, I think we're about to have a new voice. Hey Sean, are you still here? Mm -hmm. You okay, man? What's up? A little spacey. That's all. Work was hard today. Okay. <clears throat> do you want to take this one or do you want to take a break? I want to take a break. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries, man. All right. I think I'll take this one. This is the, um, this is the, this is the, this is the, the big man, right? Mm-hmm. All right. What kind of voice befits just like the biggest shining smiley welcome please furnish me with the title of your personage <laughs> what the your name what's your name i was just inquirably asking the the title that you go by uh right i'm phoenix right inquirably mr right is it right i see splendiferous perhaps i have intimidated you with a giant giant giantesk with my giantesk vocabulary I don't know. I don't know how to go back to Phoenix after that. <laughs> what, what, what is this guy's yeah. problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings with me, 
My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You were an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter so, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. <sighs> I am lightheaded! Uh, okay, let's examine first. Let's check out this room. We've got, um, a real, a real neat painting in there. But it's not suspicious at all. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's special runner-up. Best participation. Judge's Cooperation Award. Special Good Try Prize. <laughs> hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too beautitious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too beautitious for just about anyone to appreciate. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my, this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does its sleek rotunditure not inspire you? This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. I got that, I got that. All right, well, that's about everything suspicious that we can possibly look at. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. All right, let's talk to him. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is inevitable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss, ba Miss May into his scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy, has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. Chris is making me drink water. Can I do it while smiling? <laughs> Doing this because I care about you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <clears throat> If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of, do capable of doing that. Mm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future! Sell information? Oh boy, more water. Thanks, bread. <clears throat> In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. In case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue! I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so! And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course! Fanta Blue Stick, is it not? Oh my gosh, he's too much! Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big, big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, I've seen it before, where did you get it? Okay, so now we have to decide exactly how much we want to pry into this matter. Because we know it was in the there was a painting in the office of the other guy whose name. I don't remember um, Rosberg. Rosberg yes, I was gonna say like Goldmeister That's not correct. Why is blue corp written in red? 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, so do we want to just like straight up call him out on it? When did you get it? Hmm. I think when is the right answer. Yeah, because that means... Because, like, It's Gorgeous is just making small talk. Um, <clears throat> I've seen it before. Is like, you know, I don't know. He can, he can just easily be like, You must have seen it in a magazine or something. The same catalog I browsed before I bought it. But asking when seems innocuous enough, but can draw out some information. Diley's here. What's up, Diley? <laughs> Says this guy's a straight Hi. shooter. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Say, when did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea. I forgot. I've seen that painting. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada! Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger! <laughs> what? Uh! Uh! Oof! Did he just punch? He just straight up punched Phoenix! What? He... He punched me! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away? I welcome it! For it is you who will be found guilty! What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. This is a world beyond your comprehension. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is that painting of his- Why is it that paint- Huh? <coughs> Excuse me. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Need some water? Oh no. No. I, I can, I can get. I think he does. Okay. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> now bread redeems the water. Okay. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> so that was a lot. Oops, no, we don't need that. I forget how he's involved in the DL6 incident. <clears throat> okay. So now, now what? Do you want to present him? We could, but like, what would. Maybe this? Look at this would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out! I have nothing more to say. Okay. I feel like that's a. That's probably a pretty good default response for a lot of things, but I think we should show him the badge anyway. Okay, yeah, he just says the same thing, okay. Throw him out the window! Look at this badge! Hold on, what else do we have? Uh, we have mm. Mia's autopsy, my cell phone, glass shards, the thunker, wiretap receipt, May's testimony, and the floor plans. Is this before, like, DNA evidence? Why don't we just fingerprint the thunker? I guess there wouldn't be much of a game. Yeah. So used to the GBA graphics for this claim. I'm glad they kept the high-res assets. DNA wasn't invented yet. I don't know. I like the sprites. I prefer the original sprites. 
I think I do too. <clears throat> okay, so we're probably done here. Oops. I keep hitting the button that's not move. Okay. <sighs> Where do we go now? Written in like 1999? Yeah, that's right. That's true, it is. <clears throat> Back in my day, we were all single cell organisms. Looks fine on the Game, <laughs> Game Boy Advance, but since this isn't Game Boy Advance, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, where go? Grossberg? Oh, that's right, yes. <clears throat> there he is. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <laughs> I can't remember who did Grossberg. I think Sean did his tornado voice. Um, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Gambling Jehoshaphat. Oh, you. Oh, no. What's wrong? You always look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about the whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Alright. <clears throat> I think we should probably examine Mr. Grossberg here, and then we'll probably call it a stream. It's, uh, it's getting a little past eight. <clears throat> Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, sure. Cool. So you came to see the trial. <clears throat> yes, I did. <clears throat> Something was bothering me last night, you see, and couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? <clears throat> Well, you see, it's just me, a sister. Bruh, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for the defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. Boo. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I played I played Phoenix Bright Ace Attorney. I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Hmm, the big painting, the photo of Mr. White, and why wouldn't you defend Maya? Okay, so we've already kind of asked about why wouldn't you defend Maya, and he said pretty much like... I won't tell you. The photo of Mr. White is a little bit incriminating if we uh, tell him we took it, so we probably shouldn't do that. And the big painting is the most glaringly obvious thing that we can notice from here and that we would also know from visiting Blue Corp, which is where this little thread is going, so I think we're gonna go with the big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir? There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. 
Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you know, just... I suppose I should have guessed you would. It's a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's giving you information, he's blackmailing you, or you're lovers. <laughs> I think it's the last one. I would believe no. any of these. Oh, Lord, the fuck it. <laughs> Gosh, Corey. Corey, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he's probably blackmailing him, right? That's why he's so nervous. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Mm. Very well, this may be the chance I'm, I, I know, that I've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm restart the engine real fast. You gotta rev up. But maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you and me is understudy. Perhaps it is. It was fake. Fake. What? Perhaps it was fate. Okay. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Yes, Red White of Blue Corp gave me a black eye. <clears throat> <laughs> Grosberg proceeds to stab Phoenix. <laughs> this is the chance I've been waiting for. Red White <clears throat> sends his regards. Oh, gosh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. <laughs> Long live the CEO. <laughs> I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? On because of the DL6 incident, as you guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. Are you sure you sus- uh, As you suspected, I couldn't uh, not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Boy, it would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. Well, resting red white would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He holds judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They're being bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. 
police, prosecutors, and politicians. That's preposterous. Excuse me. Don't look at me like that. When you, uh, when you, what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. I, I'm 27. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> became a prosecutor at 10. <laughs> I'm not a prosecutor and attorney. I've been paying white blue corps since I was 12. <laughs> what is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code of the, the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. <laughs> I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? <clears throat> Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. Is bequest a word? I don't know. I feel like it's either request or behest. Oh, go look it up now. <laughs> I was about to Siri it, and then I realized that would end the call. <laughs> nope. Bequest. A legacy. Okay. Weird. And she failed. As a or... result... Go on. Um... It is also um, the action of bequeathing something, aka a painting acquired by bequest. Painting, huh? <laughs> mm. Or another sentence would be her or er, her one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars was the largest bequest the library ever has received. Okay, what I, isn't that word bequeathal though? Unless bequeathal is like the verb, like the action of bequeathing something. Yes, it is. It's, that's that's what Corey just said. Yeah, the okay. action of bequeathing something. Okay. Okay. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. <clears throat> I did all I could for her. In the end, it cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case uh, in, in the DL6 incident is the DL6 incident. I don't know where this voice is anymore. It's alright, we're almost done. <laughs> but why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? But the L6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now.
because I talked to policeman marked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. The country? The country. Okay. That's He's a that lot. rich. That's a Yet lot. If you, if you would challenge him, still. Have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. Oh, there was missing files. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. All right, so it was kind of weird how like it was like oh there's missing files but like we didn't really get back to like what what that means or what the point of that is. But I think we've been up for just about two hours and it's almost nine o'clock and I think that's about time to call it. And I thought I think Sean's gonna fall asleep on us today. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not enough sleep. It's all good, man. No mm -hmm. worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, um, here let's uh, let's is there a save? Can I save? Is there a way to do yes. that? Oh yeah, options, okay. Save. All right. Uh, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us today. It was a wonderful stream. Um, uh, we made a little bit of progress. It's good to play this game again. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a little while. And now that Corey is done with school, we will probably Woo. have more chances to do so in the near future. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, um, tomorrow I don't work until like five o'clock. So I'll probably do like a Pokemon Emerald for like a while before then. Um, and then, uh, what's that? Tomorrow's when Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, probably not Friday, probably not. And then this weekend, well, it depends. I don't remember what my work schedule is Thursday and Friday, but, um, uh, but then we're probably going to do some getting over it this weekend. Might miss it because I leave work at four. That's all right. No worries. If you can make it, you can make it. If you can't, totally understandable. It's always a joy to have you. But, uh, you know, we all have our own lives and schedules and stuff. I'll just kind of go up whenever I have the chance. But, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night. Uh, just, you, you drink plenty of water. <laughs> Bye, stream. Bye. Bye.